let's think about the stairs inside your home. Uh, stairs going down to your basement, stairs going upstairs to your second level. Uh, do you have railings at those stairs? Preferably a railing on each side. Uh, first of all, if you have a railing, is it secure? You would not believe how many homes I go into um, and I go to test the railing and it's so loose, which can be disastrous if it were to come out of the wall. Uh, so check your railings, add a railing on the other side if you can do that. The beauty of that is that the person that's using those stairs um, has, it's gonna increase their independence using the stairs, it's gonna increase their safety using the stairs, um, and then it will allow them to use the stairs more often, which will increase their strength. So it's, it's a great thing to do the two railings on one railing on each side. Proper lighting again, that's going to be a common thread. Um, you want to make sure you have proper lighting at the stairwell. Always turn on the light when you're using the stairwell. Non-slip flooring. Many people have rugs on their stairs and if that rug has been there for years and years, it can get worn down and really slippery. So pay attention to that. If it's slippery, uh, definitely make a change. It's worth it. It's worth the investment. Low pile uh, rugs are the best. Berber is great for steps. If you have a uh, slippery hardwood, um, you might want to replace it with something that's more textured. And then also think about what you're wearing on your feet when you're using the stairs. Uh, the non-slip socks are nice. Um, and then just shoes is, is really important. Some people end up using what's called a stair glide uh, at their stairs. And what that is, is that you will sit in a chair, push a button, and it'll take you up the stairs or down the stairs. So you don't actually have to navigate those stairs. Stair glides are expensive, but again, you may want to consider making that investment versus having to move out of your home to a home that doesn't have stairs. Physical assistance, if you need that, definitely get it. And if you are unsafe to use those stairs, just don't use them if that's at all possible. Um, many of my clients have rearranged their homes. So instead of their bedroom being on the second floor, they create their bedroom, let's say, in what used to be their living room. Do whatever you have to do to make it so that you're safe and functional in your own home. 